If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Pin video, guys. And today, I'm going to be one of the best players at each position on defense. Yesterday, I did offense. Today, I'm going to do defense, like I said. I split them up because when I was doing them all as a one video, I felt like I was kind of bouncing around too much. Also, as well as that it felt like I would give each player like 20 seconds to talk about them. Now, I could talk about them for like maybe 40 to a minute, depending on each player and position. I feel like I'm able to give you guys more in info and in depth as to why I think people are where they are, which I definitely think is super important for the most part. So guys, hopefully you do enjoy this format. If you don't, let me know down below in the description. But anyways, guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, guys, want to be shouted out, all you got to do, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, be subscribed and have the noti bell turned on. But for today's shout out, guys, goes out to Expert Play. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you for commenting and showing support in each and every video. Now, getting on into this, guys, as well as if you want to pick up any players you do see in today's video, make sure you head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Uh, coins are discounted. You can buy training and players directly on there. Make sure to use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Now, moving on. Starting with the left end, I believe. Yep, left end on defense. So, for left end, the thing with pass rushers right now is that you need abilities on them. So, make sure you are taking advantage of abilities when you do go ahead and use these cards. Don't just get left ends and put them out there. Make sure you have, like, edge threat on them or something. Because without edge threat, they're not going to feel as good as you think. Now, Reggie White is going to be, hands down, the best left end in the game. He can just do everything, which is so important. He's 76 speed, 86 excel, which at a left end, that's super solid. 92 strength, 88 tackle, 90 play rec, 91 block shed, 91 power move, and 87 finesse move. He already has the block shed threshold, the play rec threshold, and the power move threshold. So unpowered up, he has all the thresholds that you're going to really care about. So crimped up and powered up, of course, you would just get him, you would get him a little more athletic, a little bit stronger, a little bit of a better pass rush. If you do put pass rush on him, you can get him up to like a 95 power move. So overall, all you're coming and powering up for is to increase stats, not hit thresholds, unless you want to tackle threshold as well. But this card's super great. Reggie White cannot be discounted at all. He's definitely one of the best players in Madden right now. And honestly, not for a horrible price. Moving on to right end. At right end, guys, we have Richard Seymour, but honestly, I'm not a fan of these top tier right ends. Now, I don't believe we have one in this range yet. We have one for Richard Seymour, but I don't really think he's the move either. What I've been doing personally is, here's what I would do. I would get Aaron Donald powered up, or my, Aaron Donald powered up, or Miles Garrett as my other as my right end. Now here's the thing: I have both. What I do is I run Miles Garrett at left end, and I run uh, Aaron Donald at right end while I save up for Reggie White. But the thing is, if you guys really want to be at, like economic, the best thing to do is go with my with Miles Garrett because he comes pre-built in with abilities and everything. So you can just go ahead and pick up Miles Garrett and then go ahead and just start him. He has his abilities, his edge start, and a few other stuff. Or you can move Aaron Donald to defensive tackle with whatever you want if you have him already. But I'd go with Miles Garrett or Aaron Donald here right in. Again, Miles Garrett preferably for right now just because he does get all those chem uh, abilities. But remember, if you do power him up, he does lose all those abilities and you have to repay for them. So just be wary of powering him up in terms of that. And then Aaron Donald's great, but Miles Garrett just, he really takes the cake here because he has a 91 power move stab base, 89 strength, 79 speed, 84 excel, 85 block shit, and he comes pre-built with edge threat. Now, I wish the block shit and everything was higher. Aaron Donald also has a power up expansion right now, which does help him a little bit as well. But moving on from there, defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Defensive tackle is tough. Again, you can put Aaron Donald there if you really want to, or you can go for one of the big guys, which would be Mean Joe Green. Now, for 277, Mean Joe Green is not a solid, not, not a bad deal at all. 74 speed, 83 excel, 91 strength, 89 tackle, 88 play rec, 91 block shed, 91 power move. He comes again pre-built with his block with block shedding and power move threshold and 91 strength. So he already is insane. Now, if you do power power him up and come him up, you have above 90 tackle, a 92 strength, a 92 block shed, 92 power move. He's insane. I recommend Mean Joe Green, best defensive tackle, because you can leave him there on passing downs or on running downs. So some people have defensive tackles like Damon Harrison or guys like Limbaugh Joseph, who you put them in on short short yardage downs, and you forget to take them out and start them long, and they can't pass rush for you, so they're not even helping you. Me and Joe Green can be left in all game because he can pass rush and he can run stop. This is my personal opinion. Left outside linebacker. Uh, honestly, TJ Watt's gonna be your best bet, especially if you want a pass rusher. Now again, it really comes down to whether or not you want a pass rusher or you want like a coverage guy. But TJ Watt's the best one. Now we're still waiting. We're still waiting for some more cards in this 92 93 range, guys. It's probably this is kind of what's holding back some of these positions for the most part versus some other guys. But TJ Watt's still the best pass rusher. Shaq Barrett's a decent budget version of him, but you are going to get an 82 speed, 86 excel, which is crazy athletic and outside linebacker with a 93 finesse move and 82 power move, 82 block shot, 90 player. Now, here's the thing 
Not going to be great at stopping the run. Going to be super phenomenal if he's powered up and chemmed up. If you power up and chem him up uh, pass rush, he will get like a 97 uh, finesse move, which is just absolutely crazy. So make sure you are taking advantage of a guy like TJ Watt. If you do have him, make sure to put him on the edge and actually pass rush him. At middle linebacker, Junior Sale is a solid option, but you got to go Shazier right now. With Shazier just coming out, he's, he's crazy good. Uh, Shazier is going to have the 88 speed, 90 excel, which is just really athletic for a middle linebacker. 79 strength, 88 tackle, 88 play rec, 81 blocks, 83 hit power, and 86 zone coverage. Now, again, the thing with Shazier, I don't know if he's my preferred user. I think I'd rather leave him in his own because if you power him up and chem him up with lockdown, you get into a 90 zone. If you leave him out in coverage, he's going to be really crazy in the zone with a 91 play rec or 92 play rec in a 90 zone. So I'd recommend that because if you user him, I honestly rather use your Simmons. He has a similar change of direction and Simmons is faster and three inches taller. I'd rather use your Simmons unless Shazier you're playing the box alone. Although the issue with Simmons is his hip, I mean with uh, Ryan Shazier, his block is not too great for being in the box and not being used. So it comes and goes depending on what you think there. But again, still a great option nonetheless because of that speed. Right outside linebacker, it's, it's, it's a no brainer guys. It's the one, the only Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor is the best right outside linebacker by a decent amount in my opinion. Power him up and chem him up. You're going to get him to an 88 speed and 91 excel as a linebacker. That's a pass rush. That's crazy. Guys, I, I played Lawrence Taylor. I play with Lawrence Taylor. This is what you notice. The second he gets past the left tackle, you're done. He comes in screaming. Some, most guys get around. They start chasing. You can run away with a skate artist or you have some seconds to throw. Now, Lawrence Taylor gets you so fast. He comes screaming. And the, the worst thing on a play is when he gets an insta shed. If he gets an insta shed, the play is done because the insta shed, by the time you're dropped back, he's coming in too fast. Yeah, 86 strength, 85 tackle, 85 play rec, 86 block shed, 89 power moving, 87 finesse move. He's just so well-rounded. Which the thing about well-rounded players is he's kind of held back right now, funny to say. His next card's going to be absolutely insane because it hits every threshold. The next Lawrence Taylor card breaks the game every time. The next Lawrence Taylor card is above 90 speed, above 90 power, like a 95 power move, like a 90 block shed, 90 player. He ends up being 90 everything with a super high speed. He ends up looking like a wide receiver, athletic-wise. Trust me, you're going to want Lawrence Taylor on your team. If you don't have him, you're playing, you're, you're playing, you're playing lacking a top option right now. Now for cornerback, the thing with cornerback here is going to be, there's so many options right now. Now for me, my number one option is going to be Deion Sanders. He's a good price with great stats. Of course, you can power him up and chem him up. Powered up and chem up, he's going to end up with a 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping. Stop there. Insane athletically. He's going to end up with a 93 play rec with block down, a 93 man, 94 man, and then a 93, 94 zone as well with a 83 to 84 press. So he's going to end up with, a, oh, actually 84 to 85 press. Uh, he's going to end up with a decent enough press while also being one of the top zone, being the top probably, well, one of the top zone man and play recognition corners while also being super athletic. And he has an 81 catching, which means you get some crazy catch animations. Trust me. You ever use Dion, you know. Now, for your second, third, and fourth corners, guys, it's really just a toss up between who you like. Now, I think Denzel Ward can be the next one in terms of the meta right now. Now, the thing with Denzel Ward is super expensive. You can use your power pass. He ends up being kind of similar to Dion, just better at pressing. So, he ends up 90 speed, 90 to excel, 90 agility, 88 jumping. So, he ends up just like Dion that, that way, but he ends up with less, less play rec, less zone, but more press. So, you're giving a pretty much zone for press with this guy. So, powered up and chemed up, he's going to get the 90 press at 90 man threshold. So, if you want to be man coverage, you want to have Denzel Ward, which Dion's not as great at, but he's definitely better this year than in past years. And then Nemanja Asamoah, super good as well. If you want to power him up and chem him up and try him out, ends up with a 90 speed, but he gets the play rec, man, and press threshold as well. You can rock him, Denzel Ward, pressing, and then leave uh, Dion as like that nickel corner that just like kind of roams and does his thing. But again, those are my three guys. It really depends. I mean, Byron Jones, one of the guys I use as well. It really depends on how you play, if you man, if you don't man, if you sit in zone all game. So it's kind of tough to say. Free safety. I think Micah Hyde's the best one right now. Brian Dawkins is good and all, but Micah Hyde. But the thing with Brian Dawkins, he's a hip power. He's a hip power safety. And I just, hip power is just not noticeable right now. Like, if I use it, all hip power is good for is flashy plays. Like, I lay you out. I throw you on your back. You look like a fish, like, just flopping all over. But he didn't fumble. Micah Hyde powered up in Kendrick. It's a 91 speed, 91 excel. Great. 82 tackle. Great. He ends up powered up in Kemda. With, I believe in 97 play recognition. That is crazy. He ends up with an 88 pursuit. He ends up with like a 92 man coverage and a 97 zone coverage. And I believe he can even get 99 on certain teams. But just think about that. 97 zone coverage, 94 man coverage, which means you can pretty much put him at cornerback and he'll be one of the most locked down corners in the game. It means that he has also the 72 catching as well. You can put him at on a, on a blitz, blitzing. You can put him as the uh, the man up on the running back or the tight end in a blitz scheme, a man blitz. Guys, he's insane. 
you have him, Tyron Matthew, Isaiah Simmons, and a few of those guys. You can literally do it all on the field. I think Micah Hyde is super, super dominant right now, and especially because he may not be he may not be cheap, but of course, if you don't want to go that route, you can always just power him up and get to his like 89 overall and just rock with that because that actually has good stats. It's not that much to power him up. And then a strong safety, guys, we do have Taylor Mays. It's just, come on, it's Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays is absolutely insane. 90 speed, 90 excel, 92 tackle, 87 play rack, 90 pursuit, 79 man, 87 zone, 92 hit power. Now, he ends up with above 90 zone, a 93 hit power, above 80 man, above 90 play rack, and then above 91, 91, 91 across the board on speed and excel. And then 93rd tackle. The card's insane. Six foot three. Gonna be a good user. Gonna be good left alone. It really comes down to what you think. And then for the second one, real quick, Jamal Adams is probably cheaper than Mays because you can power him up. So you can just use your power pass on Jamal, which you cannot use on Taylor Mays. So take that out as well. And guys, that's pretty much it for defense. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you didn't, if you watched the video already and you're done, make sure to go check out my Team of the Week predictions video, which should have dropped before this. Check it out. We got some good predictions in there. Let me know what you guys think. I always like seeing your opinions on that. That's about it, guys. Want to join the Poodle Squad? Like. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, turn on the Noti Bell Boys, and if you need coins, my reserve down below. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. If you guys need any of these cards, I highly recommend you actually do go pick up some of these cards. But guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Peace.